Hi guys, welcome again in my house. Today let's speak about Prosecco. I'm quite sure that if we met in Venice during one of our uh, food and wine tours experience, we probably spoke about Prosecco. Prosecco is one of the most known and exported wine from Italy worldwide. But Prosecco comes from the Veneto region, exactly where I live. And it's so particular because it is produced with a local grape called Glera. Glera is a special grape that exists only here, so it's extremely linked to this special territory. We are not far from Venice, in a small area called uh, Cornigliano Valdoviadene, that is one of the areas uh, that has the DOCG mention, so the top quality for the Italian. Uh, Prosecco is especially good now in summer when it's extremely hot because it has a great perlage and bubbles are extremely refreshing. So the main difference between Prosecco and for example French Champagne is the method that the winemaker uses for making bubbles. There is a big difference between Champagne and Prosecco and so Champagne is a very complex wine that comes from the northern part of France and it consists in a blend of different grapes and the secondary fermentation takes place in the bottle for a long time. Instead, in the case of, Champ of Prosecco, sorry, the production, the secondary fermentation takes place in big stainless steel vats. So the big quantity ferments all together in steel this method is uh, especially good because the grape we are speaking about is called aromatical grape. And this method that is faster than the French system, um, it's perfect to keep these aromas and the bouquet. Instead, in the case of the French method, um, the bouquet needs to, to evolve for a long time, like three four years, for example, so definitely it's a different way of thinking, it's a different mentality. If I want a, a good glass of sparkling wine for an aperitif with my friends, Prosecco is the best choice you can have. But if I'm having dinner, so maybe a seafood risotto uh, with more structure, I probably go with a French uh, champagne because the structure is different. Okay, this wine is very brilliant and transparent. The main perfumes of a good Prosecco are, first of all, pears and apples. So, a good refreshing bouquet. In this case, there's also some white flowers and also a sort of balsamic that reminds me time. So I'm speaking about the producer Sorelle Bronca, that is one of my favorite producers. The reality is not that big, so it's more like a family of winemakers who really love nature. And in fact, their vineyards are very similar to a garden. They follow the rhythm of nature, for example, they don't use selected but only the natural yeast of wine and definitely you can smell and taste this natural part in your glass of wine. In this case this is a selection called Particella 68. It means that this vineyard is located in a special corner in a hill uh, around 300 meters uh, of the sea level. There's a special sun exposition so all these elements make the wine, this Prosecco, different than other Prosecco from the same area. But vineyards are not located where this small vineyard is. Concerning food pairing, I suggest you something very typical here in Venice, that is a cicchetto with baccalà mantecato and a glass of Prosecco. And this is especially good because Bubbles cleans the mouth, so that fat part of bacala, that is cod, uh, will be perfectly balanced with the acidity of Prosecco. 
Otherwise, I also made a sort of focaccia with some onions, uh, cherry tomatoes, some salt on top, and it was a good aperitif for, for me and my friends. So the only things uh, I would like to avoid are red meat or those kind of very old cheese, maybe blue cheese, that have a very strong structure, strong flavor, and the pairing won't work so good. But for the rest, Prosecco is something you can pair with everything. It's so nice and refreshing and not that sweet. So guys, go with Prosecco and you won't be wrong. So first of all, cheers to you. Never stop tasting and see you on my next video. Ciao!